Hi everyone. Um, okay, let's give this a whirl, see how we get on. So you might remember this from last lesson. Um, I brought Bill and Ted back again. I know you guys like Bill and Ted. Um, and they're going to share £240 in the ratio 5 to 3. And we want to know how much do they get each. So we looked at this really briefly last lesson, just before we finished. And I don't know if you'll all remember, but we did this in a bar modelling method. So down the side, I'm going to put Bill here and Ted here. OK, and next to Bill, we're going to get five little boxes. And there's five, three, four, five, because Bill's name comes first. So Bill gets the first number in the ratio. OK, so that means Ted gets the three portions. And as best as you can, make sure that these are lined up. OK, won't cause too many issues right now, but with what we're going to do next, in the next couple of lessons, it will make it much easier if these are lined up really nicely. So one box below each other. OK, so we've got five parts here and three parts here. So for every five pounds Bill gets, Ted gets three pounds. And we could do that. We could say five for you, three for me, five for you, three for me and so on till all the money was gone. But that would take quite a long time. So the faster way is was to say, OK, all together, these parts here have to equal £240, OK, all together. And if we know that our £240 has to be split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal sized portions. OK, so the mathematical way to do that is 240 divided by 8. OK, and ideally we can do this without using a calculator because it's a really nice chance to practice doing the bus stop method. So we've got 240 divided by 8. Let's go up an equal there. Look, 8's going to 2, they don't go. OK. Not to give us a whole number, so we carry the two forward here. Eights into 24 gives us three. There are three eights in 24, and eights into zero, there are none. Okay, so 240 divided by eight is 30. Okay, so each of these little boxes is worth 30 pounds. So I'm going to write them in 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30, 30, and 30, OK? And now it's really lovely because, actually, what we can see here is that Bill gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lots of 30. So there's different ways of doing it. We could do 30, add 30, add 30, add 30, add 30. But the faster way would be to do 30 times 5 because there are 5 of them, OK? Which gives us 0 here. And here we get 15, so put the 5 here and the 1 there. So Bill's going to get £150. Ted is going to get 30 times 3. 30 times 3, which gives us 0 here and 9. OK, and the last thing we need to do down in the corner, the last thing we always need to do is a check. And if you think about it, we've shared out £240 between Bill and Ted. So all together, they should have £240. We want to make sure they haven't lost any money along the way. So we've got Bill's portion, £150. Add Ted's, which is £90. And we're going to add them together. And we're hoping, if we've done it right, we're going to get £240. So 9 add 5 is 14. Carry the 1 up there. 1, 2... So the check works, OK? We've got it right. Our numbers add up to what we were sharing out in the first place. This is the ratio of boys to girls on a school trip is one to four. So for every one boy going, there are four girls going. If 60 students go in total, how many girls are there? OK, so we're going to do pretty much the same technique here. What we're going to have down the side, we've got boys 
girls, again, remember the order is really important. So the first number in our ratio is 1, so that means with the boys here. So the boys are just getting one little box this time, and the girls are going to get the four boxes. So I'm trying to line those up again. Okay, and totally we have got 60 students, so that's our total at the end there. All together, this needs to equal 60, all together. So again, we're going to split it up into our little box. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five little boxes that needs to be split up into. And they're all going to be the same size. So that means we can do 60 divided by 5, which is 12. Okay, so each little box is worth 12 people, 12 students on this trip. So we've got in total our boys. Well, that's an easy one to work out. We've just got 12. And the girls, one, two, three, four times 12, which is 48. Okay, and again, let's just do that last check. Always worth doing it. So we've got 12 and 48, so zero, four, five, six. So we've got 60, we've not lost anybody on the way. So that's good. Okay, folks, so get those two into your books. Have a go at the sheet I've uploaded. And then there's also a math watch activity that will be going on. Um, just so I can see you've really followed this. Because, of course, I can't just check your exercise books at the moment.